Welcome everyone to the kitchen where I'm showing you how to put together oh, the best ever potato soup with some pepperoni and cheese sliders. Now the secret to a great potato soup is canned milk. This is an age old secret to go into there and it is delicious. A lot of people may use half and half in there or cream. I use milk, canned milk, and mix it together. I have the potatoes. I've cooked off some bacon in there as well. I've created the roux sprinkled with the flour and mixed that all together. And now the milk and the canned milk are in there. Salt and pepper to taste. As soon as that comes up to a boil, you can take a potato masher and just mash those potatoes once they are cooked through. Now by doing that, you're gonna have these nice <clears throat> pieces of a potato in there, delicious. And yes, I do leave the skins on. I like the fiber and the nutrients that are in those good old Idaho russet potatoes. These are the Rhodes Texas rolls that I have baked off here. I'm creating these sliders so very, very easily. Just taking some sliced up pepperoni that I sliced up, adding that onto those. And then you can add some cheese onto there as well. And yesterday when I did the garlic confit, I had so many comments from viewers that I want to show you how I did it. It's so easy. Here's a big thing of it. Add your whole garlic in there. Cover it with oil. I added some peppers, some thyme, oregano, a little basil in there. I have some roasted peppers I wanted to roast off. That went into a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 45 minutes or until the garlic is tender. When we come back, guys, we'll finish it all up. I'll show you what to do with the excess of the garlic, and we're gonna have us a feast here in the kitchen. It already right. smells good, doesn't good. it? Good. Mm -hmm. How long have we been calling it Taco Tuesday? Oh, you know, now years we don't have to say it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know that was a, a thing. Trademark. You know, it's just like, yeah. well, <clears throat> it was not meant to infringe on any <laughs> trademark. Right. All right, guys. Let's finish this up, and it is so delicious. You can see that the potato soup has thickened. I've mashed some of those potatoes in there, so it has a nice consistency, has the bacon, everything delicious. Oh, my goodness. That is going to be good. I've added the cheese to it. It has melted and is ready to go. So what I'm going to do to serve this up, oh, look how delicious that is. I loved potato soup growing up. My mom makes the best potato soup. Oh, tell you what. All right, let's put that there. And those are the sliders that I have on the plate there that have come out of the oven. And the cheese is melted and they're nice and delicious. And I wanted to show you, I have taken some of the garlic, the peppers, the oil, smashed it all together, and that's what's on top of the sliders that I brushed on top of the sliders. Here is what you can do, the idea, you can put them all into a pretty glass jar like this. As long as they're all covered up with oil, they should be fine on the counter to use, but you can put it in the refrigerator and use it up there. And so, however you'd like to, it's a fun little gift idea as well. I'm gonna top that off with a little bit of our mixture of deliciousness there. Also, I'm going to put some cheddar, uh, shredded cheese on top of it. And there, you seriously have the best idea for lunch. You have these delicious potato, creamy potato soup with sliders, with pepperoni and cheese. You can use them as dippers in the soup and enjoy. Head over to KUTV.com or to my website, cookingwithchefbrian.com and grab the recipe. Yeah, we'll call this one almost as good as Chef Brian's mom's potato soup. Almost. Okay. True. Yeah. I agree with that one. <laughs> How do you make everything so tasty? Oh, you're just buttering it up so you get free soup today. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>